Derry Alexander is an award-winning journalist and Fox News anchor. After marrying and having two children, Derry struggled to lose the 57 pounds she gained with her pregnancies. Then she learned about only eating lean meats, complex carbs, and good fats. In her book, The Quick and Clean Diet, Derry balances no-nonsense advice with delicious recipes and shares why losing weight isn't just about getting into skinny jeans. Please welcome to our 700 Club Kitchen, Derry Alexander. It's great Thank to have you, you here. It's wonderful to be here. A chef. I mean, not just a chef, but New York, Paris. What made you change directions in your life? Well, actually, I always loved to cook. So I've always been cooking my entire life. I remember being in fourth grade making recipes. <laughs> And so I, I, and holidays and with family. And um, so I, I just always pursued that. But I also had an interest in news. I was kind of a news junkie. Yes. And um, when it came down to it, I, I kind of thought maybe I'll pursue the cooking sometime later on in my life and I'll continue to do it for my family. Uh, but I just really had to go out there and look for stories and find stories. It was just really stimulating. I liked being out in the world. And doors opened for you to do both. They did, really. they and did. With they one did. opening, even a, a further door for the other. You've had a couple of children. How many kids do you have? You I have, have two kids. Two kids, so pregnancies. And Oof. like all of us who've had children, then you've had the issue of being in the public eye and needing to get back in shape again. Tell me how you did that. Well, that it's it's not easy, and for everybody, obviously, it's a pressure, mm -hmm. and you know you have to get used to the way you look yeah. before you have kids <laughs> and and after you have children. And um, when you're in the public eye, it's that much yeah. more pressure. And I just felt like I wanted to do something, and I wanted to do something that was going to be meaningful and something that was going to last, mm -hmm. and something that wasn't going to kill me because I, yeah. I really didn't want to put myself under any more pressure than I needed to. Yeah. So what I did was I, I really found something through doing some research. I found a diet that works for me because it allows me to eat everything that I like and I, at the same I'm time lose right weight. There. <laughs> because we all love food, right? I mean, yes. food yes. is a celebration. It's part of family. It's how we show our love. And I, I love the fact, let me grab your cookbook here because I think it's so beautifully done. Thank you. Not just healthy, but quick. Quick. Which quick. We have families. Yeah, we have families. We don't have time. We have to yes. work. It's yes. so hard to plan. It's so hard to stick with your plan. So tell me about the diet that you found that works for you. What is it that's, that makes yours unique? It's called the Quick and Clean Diet. It's all about clean eating, which mm -hmm. is really all about getting back to basics, eating the food that God intended us to eat. Yeah. So in other words, not foods that are heavily processed, not foods that have spent a lot of time in a factory, but literally food that we get from the ground, from mm -hmm. trees. You can eat it that way, really having an appreciation for the nutrients in it. Yes. That food moves through your body so much faster. It's also food that that is nutrient dense, so it allows you to eat, which is mm -hmm. so important. I mean, when you go on a diet, you yeah. want to see results, but you also you don't want to starve. Exactly. Absolutely, you want to be. I mean, healthy. that changes your whole personality. How did how did following the quick and clean diet impact you? It, well, it it made me more mind centered. It gave me more energy. It made me a nicer person yeah. because I wasn't frustrated with where I was. Um, it certainly just really put my life. Back in, in the order. balance, where I yeah. exactly where I wanted to be. Well, let's show people just a few of the recipes that you have with you today. The first is an omelet. This is an, an omelet. It's called a Santorini omelet, and it's really quick and easy to make. So okay. we're going to do this really quickly. Okay. You're going to put on your stove here. You're going to spray a little bit of non-cooked cooking spray, spray. Okay. In here, and then you're just going to grab a bunch of vegetables. And the good thing about vegetables, we're going to start with uh, onions, is they are. This is, can be one of your vegetable counts for the day, which is super important. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna put it in here and you're gonna saute it. If you want, Terry, you can okay, sure. stir it a little bit. We can turn up the you know heat what? just I'll a little. You use that for the bowl. And you can move, you can kind of move that around and then you can put in some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And this is really, I mean, Ooh, whatever you like to use, already here. whatever you like to use, you can put in here. I mean, vegetables, they're, you know, they're very, very good for so you. So you've got tomatoes and onions, and what is this? These this are Kalamata a... olives. Ah, These ooh. are Greek olives. They have a really nice kind of spicy flavor to them. If you don't like them, you don't have to put them in there, but it really kind of gives it that Santorini, that Greekness. And then here you go. We've got some parsley or, ah. and, and some spinach here. Oh, all chopped together. Okay, yes. Okay, just kind of finely. Mm. Exactly. Oh. And this is, this is your green, which is very, very good. So you're just gonna, 
saute move that around until the onions are kind of translucent but you don't want to overcook your vegetables because right. your vegetables have all the nutrients in them yeah. and so when you're done here mm -hmm. and really just a little bit you soften them just a little bit okay you take the pan mm -hmm. And you can just put it, this is a, an omelet that we kind of pre-made, and it's just an, you just make an omelet, an egg omelet flat out, very easy, the instructions are in there, and then you just fill it. And it looks so pretty. Yes, and you turn yeah. off the gas, of course. <laughs> um, it just looks so pretty. And then, and then what we flip? can do is you I'm can... the chef. Oh, no problem, it. no problem. <laughs> we can take some feta cheese. Ooh, yum. And what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of feta cheese here. Where it'll melt some inside. inside. Exactly. And then what you can do is you can fold it over. Mm -hmm. And then you can put some on top, oh, which that's is really great. nice. And this is really, this is going to feed you. And when you eat food like this, you don't have to worry about calorie counts, because it's which all is good. such a drag. Have a bad thing it's in there. so healthy for you. It's yeah. loaded with protein and vegetables. And so it's, it's just really, Yummy. really healthy. And it's under 200 calories. These are good morning muffins. They have mm. wonderful things, pumpkin pie spice, bran, Ooh, bran flakes in there, applesauce. I mean, just really, really good stuff. Walnuts. Just... I'm going to move over here because delicious. our time's running short, and we've got some more. You've got a yes. These are fish um, tacos. These are actually mini oh, sizzling tacos. pork tacos. Okay. And so here we have pre-made pork. The recipe is uh, in the book for you. You can spice them however you like. And then I have some salsa here for you. Okay. You take some peaches and you can put them in the bowl, and it kind of gives it this Am wonderful sweet thing? flavor. You can put the whole thing in there. Sure. Okay. Why not? We can serve Scourge. the whole crew exactly. Right. And then you can take some onions here Ooh. and you put them in there. And here is some parsley. And is this green, green pepper? Yep, exactly. It... You can put them in there. Okay. Ooh, yeah. A little bit of garlic. Mm -hmm. Or a lot. Yeah, a little maybe. bit or a lot. And, and then... you've, got, you've got some lemon, lemon, lemon juice, juice there, or lime juice, lemon juice. And you can also use some soy there. And okay. oh, actually, that's Ooh, agave. Like that's a... dark agave syrup. Oh, yeah. Which is really, 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 really what's good. This, little? this is a little bit of uh, lemon juice. So a little of that. And, now and then you just stir good. it up and Goodness put sake. it in the, the refrigerator. This is so pretty. Yeah, and you know, it smells good. It's fruity. <laughs> oh, I always and say. And then you just. Yeah. I wish it was smell of vision. I know. Because it was, One of these days there will be smell of vision. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, then you're you can just put, put it on, on top of the tacos. Oops. Okay. Okay. And so this this is, and then you can just wrap it up. Or you can eat it like that. And it's really, really delicious. You know what I really want to do? I want you all to get this book because it is so beautiful. She has lots more information on clean eating, as we were talking about earlier. Plenty of wonderful recipes like we've talked about. The Quick and Clean Diet, available wherever books are sold. Thank you so much. Thank Great you. to have you here. Thank you.